Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through Celeramp and how to use their Google Sheets feature. This feature has saved me and my team a ton of time in sourcing and just sorting through backend data. I believe that Celeramp has really the best spreadsheet system available to Amazon sellers. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a full picture idea from how to set up your spreadsheet and effectively use all the tools available so that you can maximize the efficiency in your Amazon business. If you don't already have Celeramp, it's only around $20 a month and you can check out the link below. So once you sign up for a Selleramp account, you're going to go to the web version, that's sas.selleramp.com, and then you're going to head into the Google Sheets tab up here towards the top. Then you're going to click set up to make a new sheet. Now you'll be able to see here any spreadsheets that you've already created. If this is your first one, then there's not going to be any there. For the first time, you may need to connect your Google account. Just make sure that you're setting it up with a drive that you're okay with anyone who has access to your SaaS account having access to. So whenever we're ready to create a new sheet, we'll simply create new sheet down here. Then the system is automatically gonna create a new Google spreadsheet for you and take you to this page to manage the information on it. To rename your sheet, you can simply put it here. Let's say you have a virtual assistant named Logan. You can call it Logan Leads. Now this just updates the title on the seller amp end. You'll also want to click open in sheets here to open it up and then you can change the name here as well. I'm going to show you real quick on the actual spreadsheet what our tabs look like and then we'll come back here and show you how to set it up. So we set ours up, our spreadsheets up this way. You can do it however works best for you. Uh, but ours is date found, the source and the name. So let's say I found a lead from Walmart. It would say Walmart underscore Logan. This is important because it allows us to see where the actual source is and the VA that found it so that we can track their data and inventory lab. Next up is gonna be the source link, then the Amazon link, ASIN, title, cost of goods, list price, return on investment, profit, then our VA can enter any coupon codes or notes that they have. When our reviewer goes through, they can uh, leave the review here, any feedback they have. Then we set up a system so that they know if it was purchased or if it was good, but we didn't buy it for some reason. And then lastly, my manager puts in how many my buyer is supposed to purchase. So what that looks here is date found followed by an empty slot because this has to be manually entered by the VA. Source URL, Amazon URL, ASIN, product title, cost price, sale price, return, profit, and then the rest is manually entered. You can set up anything that you want to be added and you can reorganize these as well. Now I actually like to set these names up to be just the VA's name. So you can adjust it to just be their name. And the reason is now whenever we're on the Amazon page, it'll there will be a button that'll say their name and then they can automatically send the data to their spreadsheet. So now I'm on an Amazon product page and I'm gonna show you how to actually send the data from the page directly into that spreadsheet we set up. You'll simply enter your cost of goods. Let's say we buy this item for a dollar and we're going to sell it for eight. And then SellerAmp will automatically give you the profit, return on investment, and all the other data. If you want to send over a source page, you can enter it here. I'm just going to grab the Amazon link for the sake of the example. And you click save. Now this will actually save it. So anytime you come and open this page on Amazon, you open the SellerAmp Chrome extension, it'll actually show you the history of that listing and any source that you've entered here. But it'll also send that source information over to the spreadsheet as well. Then once all of your information is entered, you're simply gonna click on the name of the spreadsheet you want it to be sent to. And you can see it sent over all of the data for us. Now there are a few things that went wrong here. One is you can see it's on the second line and this is because SellerAmp is gonna send the data to the next empty row. I had entered a source and name here before so it's gonna send it down below, but I can just simply correct that and then delete the row. The other thing is for the first time you do this, you're gonna to have to set up the formatting. So I want our cost of goods, list price and profit to be in dollar format. And then I want my ROI to be in percentage format. And then the rest of this information is filled out manually. And that's really it. Again, that's one of many amazing features that SellerAmp offers. If you want to get signed up, there's a link down below. It's only about $20 a month. In my opinion, it's the best budget-friendly tool that offers tons of solutions for your Amazon business. Hope you got value out of this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.